Alesmo, a YouTuber with over 8,000 subscribers, got banned from Creatures of Scenarios Discord server. Welcome to the best COS commentary channel. I am your host, Frown, and I'll be talking about the funkiest news within the realms of Scenaria. As most of you might know, Alesmo was falsely banned from Creatures of Scenarios Discord server. The reason? For self-advertisement in DMs to a moderator. I won't go into too much detail. You can go watch his video linked in the description. This is what happened in summary. There was a game raid in Creatures Scenario's Discord server, and Alesmo wanted to see if he could record the event, while possibly bringing more people's attention to it. He did so by DMing a moderator and linking his channel as proof of legitimacy. Then without warning, he was booted out of the server. He went to appeal his ban in the Dragon Adventures Discord server, and they replied by saying that the ban cannot be lifted. Then he spoke with the moderator, who showed them the rule against just sending a link. Here is what I thought was pretty stupid. There's always context to things, and the mod basically said there doesn't need to be any to be banned as long as it involves a link. That's completely unfair, and a flawed way of moderation. The mod then completely ignores them and refers them to a higher up to get the situation figured out. That's also another thing I dislike about Creatures Narius Discord moderation. They are almost always useless in actually helping you when you are in trouble. I'm sure there's been good experiences with them, but there's also been a lot of bad ones. They are so stubborn with their conclusions and genuinely think they are in the right. When you do try to disprove or speak your side, they repeat what they have said and just refers you to another person. I don't know what type of moderation, like rules and regulations or protocols they have to go through, but they seriously cannot be this useless in trying to assist a player in a difficult situation. This is such a reoccurring thing with them. They do a bad job, refuse to accept it, and then refers you to a higher up, who most of the time agrees with them. It has happened to their own official content creators. Imagine how many people have been swept under the rug with this type of moderation. But I'm not here to criticize Creature Scenario's moderation right now. That's for another video. I wanted to talk about Alesmo's unbanned video. Yes, he got unbanned. Now watch this clip. Ever. The one thing I learned honestly is that you know how everybody like started hating on the creatures of Sonario community and honestly I didn't think it was that cool either anymore as soon as I got banned and everybody saw like a false and whatever but the but the issue is that when everybody saw that it was a false ban we all just collectively agreed to start hating on creatures of Sonario Th that one moderator that one like corrupter two corrupt I don't know moderators that decided to false ban they don't represent the Creatures of Sonario community. The actual high-ranked people like the owners, co-owners, admins and whatever, they're all actually so cool. This is the problem with us. We as players and the community of Sonaria are so easily convinced. Alasmo in his previous video mentioned how when he was banned, it was like the community didn't want him anymore. Even now in the start of the video he mentions that they all collectively hated the community. But then backs down by saying that the moderators do not represent the community. So which is it? Do they represent the community or do they not? Of course, these moderators do not speak on behalf of the player base, but they are directly representing Sonaria and its practices. If we just concluded as these mods were the only corrupted ones, then we are no better. Corruption don't just appear in a person, they stem from the roots. This type of behavior always existed in Sonaria. This is enabled and sometimes rewarded in some cases. Alasmo then went on and started praising them for how cool the higher ups were. How naive can this get? I've been restricting myself from actually saying anything remotely mean to the guy because I have no intentions of making him look bad and he does seem like a very charming fellow. But the part where he showed the screenshot of him fangirling over Aretia in the DMs were just sad. This is the perfect example that shows a lot about the COS fanbase. The people who have every right to be angry, 
who gets treated unfairly will first be outraged and then immediately go back to praising the same people that allowed them to be in those situations, put in those situations, all because they were just slightly relatable to us. I'm not saying anyone should riot over anything. I'm just voicing my own opinions. If you disagree, that's fine. If you agree, don't start any fire. In conclusion, creature scenario moderation is not good. And to just say these moderators are corrupt in their own rights is not fair. Because corruption, again, comes from the roots. The entire spine of Sonaria is corrupted in its own way. I'm not saying corrupt as in like financially, but but, but I'm talking about the moderations and like their in-game currency and all that. You guys know what type of corruption I mean. So yeah, don't just dismiss it that easily. But of course, don't harass anyone, don't attack anyone, don't fight and argue with anyone. Just keep it in mind. The next time you get treated unfairly, know that you're most likely going to get swept under the rug. He is one of the most luckiest people because he has an active community. So he got unbanned and he was then rewarded in becoming the next CC of Sonaria. So I'm just saying, count yourself lucky. Because there are a lot of us that aren't. Also, I thought the screenshot was pretty funny. If you liked today's video, go ahead and subscribe to the wonderful channel to be updated for any upcoming video. Turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I make another one of these. Like this video as well. Why not? It will pop up in the people's feed and I don't mind having a few more views. With that being said, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night.